this is Russell Smalley again. And I'm sure if you're watching this, you've probably asked yourself, what the heck is a 33? Why, why are you naming this after a number? And what the heck does it even mean? First off, a short story about how the idea of the name, the title even came to me. I'd written a story and I wasn't really sure on the title. And then I was on my way to work one day and I was sitting at a stoplight and you know how banks have those uh, the screens outside that you know have a little the little news runner that sometimes has the uh, the weather or come in for a new loan and crap like that well the the weather outside currently I think I think this was in January or February said it was 33 degrees outside and then I look up at the intersection because I'm stopped at the stoplight just killing time I'm at the intersection of 33rd and Broadway I uh, look at my phone and it was 8.33, and I'm like, okay, whatever, and so I uh, go and uh, go into Snapchat, and the last time someone opened the snap for me, it was 33 minutes ago, and that, that didn't really, like, mean anything to me at the time, then I, you know, drive a fluke, few blocks down the road, and I'm like, well, that was a lot of 33s, so that kind of started me on a little, little rabbit trail, or why, why the heck, what, is, what does 33 mean, what does that mean if you run into it? And if you've done any kind of research into Pythagoras and what he viewed, how he viewed numbers and what they actually meant to him, then some of the ideas behind numerology probably don't seem that abstract to you, even though they, how he viewed numbers and how we view math today is very different. I guess to, to start off with understanding what 33 means, let's start off with the number 3. So, I'm quoting here from... Sena, 